Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another game algorithms video. In the last video, we discussed the seeking artificial intelligence algorithm and getting that to work by having the source object here seek to the target object here. And that target object allows movement so it can move. So every game loop we have decided to constantly run the seeking AI. And so it's automatically adjusting to the current position of the target. In this video we are going to do the opposite which is fleeing. We want the source which is here to flee from the target which is here. If the target is within a certain distance threshold. So for the seeking AI, we calculated a vector from the source to the target, which is why the arrow points to the right here. We need to do the opposite. We need to get a vector from the target to the source. So the vector will be pointing to, towards the left. So this STV vector, we just need to flip this vector. So let's go ahead and discuss that. I'll go ahead and close this out. All right, so let's draw our source. So this is the source. Now we want to go to the target, which is here. Or actually, uh, let's make it a little bit closer. Like right here. All right. So the fleeing operation. This is going to be flee AI. So we want to flee if the target is close enough to the source. So we need to calculate that. So let's have this color here for the distance threshold. Uh, let's make it very large so we can illustrate this. So let's say it's not going to be perfect but that is the distance threshold. So we can visually see that this is within that distance threshold so our source needs to flee from that. So we need to calculate a vector from the target to the source. So that is the vector there. From the target to the source. Target to source vector. And that is the opposite of what we did last time. So that is TSV vector is equal to source dot position minus target dot position just the opposite of what we did in the last video just flip that around so we get that that TSV vector now we need to calculate the we need to know the length of that so the length of TSV if that is less than the distance threshold then we need to flee so we need to perform the same thing we need to normalize normalize TSV and then we need to multiply TSV by our speed. So TSV is equal to speed, uh, our source's speed, times TSV. We will set our source's velocity is equal to TSV. So this is pretty much what we discussed in the last video, just the opposite. So we have our source here, and we have our target here. We calculate a vector from our target to our source, which is this arrow here. And we call that TSV. 
for target to source vector. We also have another component to deal with. This sources object has a distance threshold. It's comfortable having objects after that distance, but when it gets inside that distance, it wants to flee. It doesn't want to get too close to other objects. So this is the distance threshold. So we need to get the length of TSV. So this is equal to the length of TSV. So we need to get the length of TSV, and if that is less than the distance threshold here. If it's less than that, that means it's closer to us. It's inside of our distance bubble. So we need to flee from that. Just like what we did last time, we first need to normalize it. Because our object could travel very slowly, it still needs to flee, but it could travel very slowly. This can be a very large vector. So this can be very large. And our our velocity can be slow. So we need to normalize our vector because this vector could be very large, which will make the source move faster than it should be able to. So we need to normalize our vector. And then we multiply it by its speed, which is this line here. Then we update our velocity to that. Okay, so this is a very simple concept. And this is fleeing AI. We can add the target, seek to the source, and the source flee from the target. All right, so that is it for this video. It'll be a little bit short. The next video will be wandering AI. So I hope to see you next time.